all right boys so um it's come to my attention there's a few people out there that aren't um exactly aware of the the inner workings of the of the very universe we live in so i thought i thought i'd illustrate it out for you here so as you know hopefully um we have a little planet here called Earth. There's also some little some land mass here. Little Canada, United States, Mexico. Some, put a little Taiwan right there. But, you know, it's a little, little planet. And got some stars out here. Other planets dotted around. There's the sun over here shooting some rays. And that's basically all contained in, like, a big little, little galaxy thing. You know, you see, you see in those space pictures most most little well, there's probably some planets out here too so you know that's that's like the extent of most people's knowledge unfortunately so let's uh let's show you the inner workings here so basically if, when you zoom out from that galaxy view there we just seen those clusters of, of planets and stars and whatnot you get this you basically there's all of space is actually contained in a uh, aptly named a space ship, of course. So the ship basically contains all of space itself as we know it. People say the universe is constantly expanding. This ship is gradually growing in mass. And you know, Earth is like, see that dot? You gotta zoom in that dot two billion times and you won't even you're still not even close to the Earth. And so you may ask, what, what, what is space doing in a spaceship? Well, let me tell you, friend. See, this spaceship is actually... There's giant tubes. And here's our, here's our ship right now. Draw right there. That's our ship. And this is what we call a cluster. We, we originally, uh, we lived on this cluster. We uh, we prospered. We grew corn. We called it maize, of course. But um, certain events transpired. Here's some cracks to, uh, you know, like, signify those transpiring events. Obviously, not, not the most happy of events, you know. It wasn't a birthday party. There was, <coughs> excuse me. There was no birthday fan blowing its birthday air so we, we have to evacuate so we take we're taking this passage right now this is, uh, this is our current progress we're about almost halfway there and we're, we're on our way to, to this little uh, this this mass of, of of beauty pretty much and you may there I mean there's there's each tube is connected there's several of these masses existing there's inner sloping tubes I mean, it's a large inner network system, you know. It's, it's not your everyday run-of-the-mill, run-of-the-mill uh, nonsense. And so, you know, as we're, we're cruising through this tube on our way, actually, let me show you here. See, each of these tubule systems, they're, like, contained in these... Like, these, they're, like, kind of a gassy old cloud... actually double layer to protect because um, you know there's like basically several factors coming in to attack this uh, like this over overall living essence I mean th this essence alive you know it kind of waves around like you'd expect a, uh, a gas like substance to wave around and so you know it's protecting everything keeping everything safe not, not many people are uh, aware of this, this little outside area. I'm not not even I have gained that. I don't know. Let's put a little, little upside down one for there for our Spanish friends. But you know, basically, as we're traveling to this other, uh, traveling through the tube to this other, uh, our, ne our next world, basically. You, you got some people. You got some hoodlums. Little. Uh, Little backwards cap there, possibly a wigger. Well, little, little close up of that guy for you. Looks like a bow tie actually. Like a little Miss Pac-Man or whatever. But you know we're obviously not gonna withstand a a three point three trillion 
year journey to another tube. So we've created these uh, these manifested bodies, pretty much. To um, they're like little little shells, little containers. Here's what here's what you really look like. You're just kind of a just an essence, really. But you know, we're sucked inside this shell. You're living. You know, you'll die. Possibly, I don't know. You you step on a trip mine, it explodes. There's like a badoom sound effect, even a little a little exclamation mark because it was a loud badoom. It wasn't just a little quiet. It wasn't a snap and pop firecracker, basically. But that doesn't matter because you're well, here's like your rotting corpse, like your neck grew for some reason, and you got an arm over here, and just blood juicing everywhere. I mean, it's it's, it's a sick little mess. There's a there's a foot with a Nike shoe. You know, you were a Nike fan. You were a Nike. Oh, is that inverse? Whatever. But it doesn't matter. The there's an arrow. You actual self. You escape, and uh, you you'll come out of a certain area as a uh, in a new shell. You, I mean, it, it might possibly a. Uh, you may decide for a cockroach shell. Well, I guess cockroaches don't have four legs. A cockroach s spider. And you'll enjoy lives of, uh, you know, you'll enjoy a quick little life of biting babies and laying your eggs in hot dogs for unsuspecting poor folk to unfortunately bite in. Because you're a prankster on your journey. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta have some fun on your journey. So, you know, you do as you please. But eventually, you know, We'll get to uh, we'll get to the magic land over here. What is this land called, you ask? Well, let's see. As as we know it right now, we got you know our standard writing, some wise. We got numbers and such. Okay, let me, to to put this land in uh, these Roman characters, it would be something like. Sarizio Zios. Um, but I mean, as your real gaseous form, you don't even need to. You don't even need to be bothering with letters. You just, just by existing, your your thoughts or penetrate other other uh, other existences. So, you know, here's you all just chiseling, and you're like, I don't know. You formulate some some thoughts of sorts. There's those thoughts going. And there's this, and he's like, he really receives that. He's like, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And like, out of nowhere, like his thoughts formulate into a painting of sorts. And it's like the painting is painting as well. There's a here's his hand with a paintbrush, it's a wet paintbrush, some black ink. It draws like a goldfish. That fish comes to life. It blows some bubbles. And oh my goodness, those bubbles become future, future inhabitable, uh, planetal areas, you know. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty s simple system. And that, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, glad you're in the know. Here's the, uh, here's the great Buddha. It's actually, uh, I was actually speaking to him recently. He's in, he's currently in deer form. Enjoying himself, fed him some, uh, fed him some sugar, but, oops, that, that's the end of my presentation, I hope you learned a lot, um, I can't wait to meet you guys on the, uh, on, on our, uh, on our magic trip, so adios.